Bartholomew and the bug. Bartholomew lived in a cave in the forest at the top of a mountain. He spent his days sniffing flowers, snoozing in leafy glades, snacking on berries and generally taking it nice and easy. But sometimes in the evenings he would climb up to the top of the cliff and watch the twinkling lights down in the valley below. He wondered what they were and what went on there. Perhaps he would go there tomorrow or sometime next week. One day, whilst he was reclining in his favourite spot, a strange little bug flew up and hit him on the nose. <sniffs> it spoke very quickly in a squeaky voice and kept gasping for breath, but eventually Bartholomew managed to work out what it was saying. Bright lights! Ah, oh, Buzz! Buzz! Must find lights! Got to find lights! Buzz! Buzz! Quick! Bartholomew led the bug over to the edge of the cliff to show him where the twinkling lights were down in the valley. Ah, oh, Buzz! Haven't got long! Only lived for one day, so got to get there quick! All I want to do! Only one day to have time in my life, but I haven't got too long! Ah, oh, Buzz! But every couple of paces, the little bug got caught up by the wind and ended up flying in a completely different direction. Please, can you help me, Mr. Bear? Please? Buzz! Ah! It seemed obvious the little creature couldn't do this alone and being a kindly bear with nothing much in particular planned for the day, Bartholomew helped him in his quest. They didn't have a second to lose. Cradling the small insect in his big paws, Bartholomew clambered his way to the bottom of the cliff. <sighs> then they had to cross a huge river. Buzz, let's go! And jump bottomless canyons. Wow, crazy! A frog directed them through the stinking swamps. Yuck! And over the waterfall. Wild, yeah! Till eventually they arrived at a huge concrete road. Bartholomew was devastated. He couldn't read that well, but he knew that 117 was a very, very long way. And that a very long way was sure to take much more than a day to walk. They'd never make it in time. He sat down by the edge of the road with the bug in the palm of his paw. He didn't know how he could tell him the bad news. Hey, quick, we got to get there. Come on, Buzz, come on. Just then, a huge truck pulled up and a hairy-faced man got up there and stood beside the road and began to whistle. <whistles> Bartholomew the bug very quietly tiptoed out from undergrowth, climbed on the back of the truck and hid behind some big boxes. Come on, Buzz, up here. Neither Bartholomew nor the bug had ever travelled so fast in their lives. Yeah, Buzz! They were there in record-breaking time. The truck screeched to halt and Bartholomew and the bug hopped down to take their first glimpse of the bright lights of the big city. But it wasn't what they were expecting at all. There weren't any bright lights, only tall grey towers. They must have got it all wrong somehow. There weren't any lights anywhere. The bug tried to hide his disappointment. Well, thanks, man. It looks like we're going to have one crazy time here, my friend. Yeah. But as they wandered through the streets and alleys, they began to notice a few twinkling lights appearing. First one, then two, then more and more. Until the whole place was awash with luminescent glow and with the lights came the buzz of thousands of insects of every shape and size all here for the same reason to party <laughs> they rode up and down in elevators they drove about in limousines yeah woo they dressed up in fancy clothes they sang they danced till Bartholomew thought his legs would drop off, and some of the bugs did. And 
just as Bartholomew thought he could dance no more and the, more, and the first whispers of dawn began to peep their way over the horizon, he noticed the bug staring into the eyes of a rather pretty ladybug and he thought it was probably time for him to go home. Bartholomew bade farewell to the insect friend and thanked them for such a wonderful day and Teal, with a frizzle-frazzle sound, they're all gone together. Cool, crazy, thank you, Mr Bear. Bartholomew never went back to the bright lights of the big city, but at the end of each day, when he sits and watches them from the mountain top, he always thinks of his little bug friends and the fantastic day they spent there together. And he can't resist having a little bit of a sing and a dance and a party. La 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 la, woo woo! Yeah man, crazy! Bartholomew and the bug. Finished. <laughs>